Hi, this is Sergey from AWS. Today we're going to talk about migration process. Once we understand customer's cloud adoption journey and understand customer's motivation for migration, we can start looking at preparing customer for the migration journey to the cloud. Each migration is unique, but typically we see large migrations go through these stages. During the analysis stage, we start by analyzing the cost and benefits of migrating to the cloud and determining which parts of the IT portfolios will be migrated. Here we prepare a business case during the analysis stage of the migration. During the planning stage, we assess the migration portfolio and formulate a detailed plan, which is then used in phases three and four, what we refer as migration factory, which focuses on an application level and iterates through these two phases for each application that is being migrated. After that, we focus on operations. Here we work on running application in the cloud, optimizing cost and performance, and continuing to apply latest architecture and security best practices to the cloud. So let's take a look at each of these stages in more detail. So during the initial evaluation phase, here we work with the customer to understand the opportunity well, ensure the customer has the right governance frameworks and desire to migrate. Training and executive education are really key at this stage. We recommend approaching this with the customer as the joint effort to learn about the business requirements and requirements for migration. This will help everyone involved understand the goals of the migration and help us formulate a complete statement of work. During this stage, we also dedicate some time to identify security risk or compliance requirements that the organization might have. We need to do this early as it may have drastic effect on the migration strategy, timeline, and maybe even requirements. Ultimately, as the outcome of the stage, we need to work with the customer to prepare the list of business strategy objectives, such as cost reduction or operational efficiency improvements. They will set the tone for the project plan and would need to be the goal of this migration. Finally, after the customer has demonstrated commitment and the migration statement of work is signed, we're ready to start leading the portfolio discovery and planning phases. In a later video, we'll dive into it and take a look at what is involved in discovery and planning. Thank you for watching.